So I've been doing some welding recently and I uh, decided to convert this small MIG to use larger gas bottles. This is the type of bottle it's using at the moment and this is the regulator that's on it. That's the hose where the regulator was connected to. Cut that off with the snips. And this is a new regulator with a pipe, gas pipe with a 4mm reducer. This is a regulator box, a single stage regulator, series 6000 for BOC. It's got the two gauges, the one on the right tells you how much gas you've got left, and the one on the left tells you about pressure you're putting through into your welder. This little connection is a 4mm reducer. It's so simple to use, it just the other pipe just pushes straight in there. I'll try and do it using one hand. Not the easiest task, but still simple enough. There you go. That's it, connected pretty much. You adjust your pressure, the amount of gas coming in with this. And then the pipe just disconnects just by pushing back on the red button. Makes it easy so you can move the gas about and move the welder about without having to cart both of them about together. So the BOC regulator is £94 and the pipe's £15, but there's cheaper options. This is a Sealy regulator, which is about £55 for a kit with the regulator and the, and the gas pipe, but to be honest, it's not really up to much and it doesn't actually fit the BOC tanks, so decided just to get the, the better regulator. It's a bit more money, but to be honest, you. The money you save from having to buy the little disposable gas tanks, you, you'll eventually make your money back on it. So the gas tank that I've upgraded to is Argo Shield and it's 19.4 kilograms. And the difference in the welder is it's like night and day really. It saves you a lot of time as well from having to keep changing over the little disposable one. You just use your wrench and screw it into the top and that's your connected. 